In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about how to configure SSID and passwords uh, on Packet Tracer's wireless network, wireless local area network. Now, in the last video, we learned uh, about uh, the wireless local area network and the configuration of WLAN in the Packet Tracer. Uh, we saw that one wireless router is available for Lynx, SIS, and the laptops we connected with it uh, by uh, WLAN, uh, the Wi Fi interface, wireless interface. Now, for example, uh, let me uh, try to find out the IP of this uh, router. So it's 192.168.001. And by default, DSCP, uh, these clients are getting IPs. So let me ping the router. So it's pinging. You can see it's pinging 192.168.0.1. Now, if uh, I try to make a changes on the, uh, the router about the uh, uh, SSID and the password for us to change it. For example, let me go to IP and then have to give a username and password, which is admin by default. But you can change lots of options we already discussed about. Uh, but only thing we want to learn here is the particular thing which is uh, wireless here the SSID and you can see the network mode currently the setup is, uh, is, is of DSCP automatic DSCP and you can see the IP address 192.168.0.1 uh, providing uh, for 50 maximum users can connect with this router and this uh, router can provide 50 uh, particular IP ranges with the set currently all that's are there okay so this is particularly any 50 devices can be connected with this router and will get the IP address from the router also now you can see the network mode here the wireless and you find out that currently it's, it's mixed uh, BG mix, wireless G only, wireless B only, wireless N only. These are the uh, standards of IEEE 802.11 BGN are the standards of these. So, for example, I have to change the SSID uh, tech com, for example, like that. Now, radio band uh, according to your suitability uh, wide channel uh, standard channel uh, according to your suitable but uh, preferred standard channel v1611 this is 2.412 gigahertz 2.437 gigahertz and 2.462 gigahertz otherwise you can change uh, you can uh, configure any of the channel but uh, as of now the standard will be like that now you can enable the broadcast with disable the broadcast uh, as soon as we change this and you will find one thing you will you will find a disconnection in an effort and uh, since it's disconnected uh, you will be not able to make any changes since it's disconnected so no more accessible so you have to go to this PC wireless thing in this packet tracer we will get like that uh, otherwise we will have uh, our own uh, control panel or our system Currently here is a wild PC wireless. So when you open this, you will find uh, you can see the no association with the access point. And currently it's not connected. Uh, 
but uh, look like real but and uh, as soon as you give a connect option as soon as you reach to the connect option you can see that the uh, wireless network was showing and as soon as you connect you will find out these uh, connections is once again stable and you can see the link information signal strength and link quality all are, are awesome and you can see the uh, the device uh, graphically showing that uh, this is laptop and I see is there uh, wireless Wi-Fi is there or an IC wireless and I see there are connected with the with the wireless router and this is profile of your laptop uh, the NIC connected in your laptop so you can even uh, active or whatever you can uh, do whatever you want to same with this laptop goes to desktop PC wireless and uh, as soon as you will find the connection just connect with it currently we just didn't set any uh, password that's the reason we didn't ask for a password as soon as we provide our password it will no longer uh, authorize for example the security here uh, it's just firewall but currently like this is the password router password and uh, it's up to you. you can set from here but as soon as you set uh, you will just get the disconnection and then again you have to go to uh, your laptop's uh, uh, control panel the NIC's control panel and then have to check all that so you will find these options on on packet tracer good thing to understand about the uh, a little bit of how uh, access point or a wireless uh, routers work uh, DSL routers work so good way to understand that if you don't have otherwise nowadays uh, systems are in everyone's home but if the access points or uh, routers are not available wireless routers are not available then you can do a practicals in the pack tracer it's a basic thing you can manage uh, the connection from here give a password save those and tries to link it from here so hope you learned something about how to configure SSID and the password uh, via uh, in a packet tracer thanks for watching